Hey guys, what's up? Um, welcome back to The Logic Professional. This is a new YouTube series of videos explaining the ins and outs of Apple's Logic Pro 10 software. My name is Michael and today we're going to be talking about the drummer machine inside of Logic. This is actually a new feature to Logic 10. It was not available in Logic 9. So let's get started. This is a very, very powerful, useful tool for creating drum beats for music production. So the first thing you do is you go up to the main menu here, you select track, new drummer track. And what this is going to do is create a new track and it's going to populate it with these drummer regions. And you can actually see here, it looks like an audio waveform. What we have now is a beat. So let's check it out. Let's listen to that beat. So this is a basic rock beat. Very cool. Now you'll see down here you have a whole bunch of options. Uh, there's beat presets. Uh, we could try this one here. Little tom, little tom action. Pretty cool. And you'll see that as we select different presets, uh, different drums are activated, and then this x y axis changes as well. So let's bring it down a little bit. So it's a pretty simple setup really, it's very intuitive. Uh, you select the instruments you want to play, for example, we'll just have kick, bass, and snare drum. Um, and now we're working on this X, Y axis and it says, as you can see here, simple to the left, complex to the right, soft at the bottom, loud at the top. So the further to the right you go, the more complex the beat will become. And you can see that being reflected here and as you listen to it. And the higher up you go, the louder it'll become. Um, so, if you want to find a nice, simple, hard-hitting beat, you could be somewhere over here. Uh, if you want something more complicated, but maybe a little quieter down here, it's great. And you can dial it in, you can select the instruments you want. Uh, really try to find that beat closest to what you're envisioning. Yeah, it's very useful, very cool tool. Um, you can also control whether or not the drummer swings and whether or not he's swinging to an eighth note or a sixteenth note. That's down here to the right. So we'll give him a little swing. Yeah, it's a little jazzier, right? Um, you can also select from different options for certain kinds of things. For example, if you turn on some of the hand percussion like the tambourine, you can select different patterns for that. More simple, more complex. Um, same with the toms, if you turn those on, you can select from a few different options there as well. It's the same with uh, cymbals as well. It's very cool, very useful. Um, of course, maybe you don't want a, an acoustic rock beat kind of kit, so you can select different kinds of genres from over here. Uh, right now we're drumming with Kyle, they, they create these little characters, it's kind of fun. Uh, but let's say you want something that's more of an R&B beat. It, uh, we've got these three options here, we're going to try Rose today, she looks good. So now we're jamming with Rose, and this is more of an R&B feel. Parameter controls are exactly the same, you got a new set of presets that you can explore. Uh, you could do something more hip-hop, maybe a little heavier. I like this guy here, Maurice. It's got a great kick drum sound built into it. Listen to this. Yeah, that's like heavy. Sounds really nice. It's very easy to mix with because it starts out so nice. Um, there's also more electronic sounding kits. Let's try Ronnie here. You can get that uh, sort of offbeat hi-hat sound that's really popular in today's rap and R&B music from almost any of these electronic drums. And of course you've also got uh, more acoustic options like the songwriter option and then the alternative option which sort of blends, it blends the electronic and the acoustic elements. This guy Duncan here, he'll give you a really nice fat dance beat for like an indie pop song. Check this out. Doesn't that sound great? Cool. So, a few more things here. Uh, you can also control the degree to which the drummer fills or plays, you know, intricate uh, transition fills between phrases. Uh, if you turn it all the way down, it'll just play the straight beat with no fills. If you turn it all the way up, there'll be a lot of fills and toms and more elements to the beat. 
and anywhere in between, and also the fills change depending on the volume and complexity you have set over here. So it's definitely worth exploring. Sometimes you can find really great, really powerful fills out the box. Um, so you'll notice down here in the right hand corner, we have this details box. And if you click on this, you get a few more options. Now this box is actually different depending on the kind of drummer you're using. So for this alternative drummer, Duncan, you can determine the kind of the complexity range for these options, for the shaker, for the hi-hat, for the clap. You can adjust it. Um, you can make it more human, make it less fixed to the grid, give it a more natural sound. Um, I find that these options are a lot more useful for an acoustic set, so let's switch over to the songwriter here. Let's try out, let's try out Darcy. So Darcy's laying down a nice classic rock beat for us. So we'll go into the details here. Uh, you can change the feel of the beat, so it's sort of pushing, going a little bit ahead of the clock, give it that sort of driving feel. Uh, you can pull it back if you want it to feel like the song is kind of, you know, pulling back, slowing down. These are these are great ways to make your MIDI drum tracks sound much more natural. Uh, you can affect the number of ghost notes or those quiet, delicate, subtle notes that the drummers are playing. You can make it so that those are a little more noticeable. Hear those snare hits that are in the background there. They're a little louder now, but if you turn them way down, then you really just get the basic snare, but the other, other hits are a lot quieter. Um, also, the hi-hat, um, if it's set to automatic, it will determine whether or not it is an open or closed hi-hat sound based on where you have this set with the complexity and the volume. But you can also turn automatic off, and let's, let's say you want a quiet beat with an open hi-hat. You can just open up your hi-hat. Or close it down. And anything in between. Really useful. Really great stuff. All right, so there's one more thing I want to tell you about the Logic Drummer before we go here, and this part's essential. So, you've got your beat. You've got something close to the beat you want, but, but let's say it's not quite right, and you want to change some stuff around, but you can't quite get the drummer to do what you want. This is an essential part of the drummer. Uh, you go over to your populated track region, and you right-click, select Convert to MIDI. Now the track has turned into a MIDI track like any other virtual instrument that you've programmed in Logic before. And you can see each hit as an individual MIDI event. And so you can go in and add events and take things out. And you can really dial in whatever sound it is you're looking for. Great. So that's it. Uh, this is the Logic Drummer Machine from Logic Pro 10. Uh, if anyone has any questions or comments or has something about Logic that they would like me to do a new video on, please feel re free to reach out in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe. It's a big help to me. Thank you all so much for checking this out, and please keep making music. Have a great day.